my dear students now we will study the non metallic part of chapter 10 the non metal substances which are found in the mine are known as non metallic minerals sulfur is a yellow color non metal and it can be extracted directly from the mine by fresh process in this process three one centered pipes are inserted in the sulfur mine and through the first pipe superheated water is passed through the mine and through the second pipe the air is passed with minimum 20 to 22 atm pressure is passed and the melting point of sulfur is 115 degree centigrade temperature due to the superheated water the sulfur of mine becomes molten very by very short time due to the high pressure of the air the molten sulfur comes out through the third pipe by this process sulfur is extracted liquid sulfur is extracted now come to the another point the properties of sulfur so already i have told you sulfur is a less reactive non matter that's why it is found in the nature as a free element sulfur does not react with the component of air at normal temperature that's why sulfur is heated with atmospheric oxygen to produce sulfur dioxide Sulfur dioxide. Now we will discuss about the properties of sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide is an acidic oxide because sulfur dioxide reacts with water to produce sulfurous acid and it also reacts with base sodium hydroxide to produce salt and water. Here salt is actually sodium hydrogen sulfate. To make it balance, you can write here two. However, the conditions of acidic oxide is actually oxide must react with water to produce acid and it must react with base to produce salt and water. It may not react with water but this is mandatory that the oxide must react with the base. Here, sulfur dioxide reacts with the base sodium hydroxide to produce sodium sulfide salt. Now, Sulfur dioxide is both oxidizing agent and reducing agent. Oxidizing agent, all of you know that the chemical substances which accept electron are known as oxidizing agent. Here, sulfur dioxide is an oxidizing agent. Sulfur dioxide reacts with hydrogen sulfide to produce sulfur and oxygen. The oxidation number of sulfur in sulfur dioxide is plus 4 and the oxidation number of sulfur in sulfur element is 0. So, it is seen that the oxidation number of sulfur is decreased from plus 4 to 0 by accepting 4 electrons. It means Reduction reaction occurs here because we know that the reaction in which electrons are accepted by reactant is called reduction reaction. And also the reactant which accepts electron is known as oxidizing agent. That's why sulfur dioxide is oxidizing agent in this reaction. And again sulfur dioxide when sulfur dioxide reacts with the aqueous solution of chlorine that time it produces sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid. In this reaction, the oxidation number of sulfur in sulfur dioxide is plus 4 and the oxidation number of sulfur in sulfuric acid is plus 6. So it is seen that the oxidation number of sulfur is increased from plus 4 to plus 6 by releasing two electrons. And we know that the reaction in which Electrons are released by reactant is called oxidation reaction. Here, sulfur dioxide releases electrons. That's why sulfur dioxide is a reducing agent. We know that the reactant which reduces electron 
are known as reducing agent so it can be said that sulfur dioxide acts as both oxidizing agent and reducing agent again sulfur dioxide is also a bleaching agent the substances which makes discolor a colorful substance are known as bleaching agent sulfur dioxide is a bleaching agent because it reacts with water to produce nascent hydrogen nascent hydrogen redu reduces nascent hydrogen reduces the colorful substances and makes it and makes it discolor that's why sulfur dioxide is a reducing agent again my dear students in your textbook it is not given first pipe second pipe or third pipe I have given here first pipe, second pipe and third pipe just to make you understand easily and you can memorize it very easily. But it is not a mistake. Manufacturing of sulfuric acid by contact process. Sulfur is heated with atmospheric oxygen to produce sulfur dioxide gas. At 450 degree centigrade to 550 degree centigrade temperature and in the presence of vanadium pentoxide catalyst, sulfur dioxide gas is heated with atmospheric oxygen to produce sulfur trioxide. Then sulfur trioxide is passed through the concentrated sulfuric acid. Then sulfur trioxide is absorbed by concentrated sulfuric acid to produce pyrosulfuric acid. Here, my dear students, if you observe this, this reaction, you will see that there are two hydrogen atoms that's why i have written on the right side two hydrogen atoms and one plus one two sulfur atoms that's why i have written here s2 and four oxygen plus three oxygen equals to seven oxygen that's why the rather link formula is h2s2o7 this is known as pyrosulfuric acid and the trade name of pyrosulfuric is actually olea then required amount of water is added with pyrosulfuric acid to produce sulfuric acid. Now you may ask me sir, sulfur trioxide reacts with water to produce sulfuric acid. So why, does, why don't we add water directly with sulfur trioxide to produce sulfuric acid? Actually it can't, uh, actually we don't do this because sulfur trioxide gas if i pass sulfur trioxide gas through the water directly it reacts with the vapor of water of the surface of its surface to react to it to produce sulfuric acid sulfur trioxide reacts with the water vapor on the surface of water to produce sulfuric acid sulfuric acid fog to make it dilute to make it liquid by condensation the process becomes very difficult that's why to produce sulfuric acid sulfur trioxide does not supply to the sulfuric to the water directly start H2SO4 is an acid my dear students you have to know that the chemical substances which produce H plus 7 in the aqueous solution are known as acid. And again, the chemical substances which react with base to produce salt and water are known as acid. So H2SO4 produces huge amount of H plus 7 in the aqueous solution. That is why H2SO4 is an acid. Again, H2SO4 reacts with sodium hydroxide, which is a strong base sodium hydroxide to produce sodium sulfide and water here sodium sulfide is salt that's why H2SO4 is an acid dilute sulfuric acid does not react with copper because in the reactivity series of metal the position of copper is below hydrogen that's why copper can't replace hydrogen from sulfuric acid that's why the reaction does not occur otherwise dilute sulfuric acid has no oxidation property that's why dilute sulfuric acid does not react with copper and you know that 
if in the aqueous solution the amount of water is higher than the amount of sulfuric acid then it is known as dilute sulfuric acid again concentrated sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid reacts with copper to produce copper sulfate sulfur dioxide and water because concentrated sulfuric acid has oxidation property it is a very strong oxidizing agent in this case oxidation of sulfur in sulfuric acid is plus 6 and oxidation of sulfur in sulfur dioxide is plus 4 here the oxidation number of sulfur is decreased from plus 6 to plus 4 by accepting two electrons we know that the reaction in which the reactant accepts electron is called reduction reaction and the reactant which accepts electron is known as oxidizing agent so concentrated sulfuric acid is an oxidizing agent concentrated sulfuric acid is also a dehydrating agent the chemical substances which absorb water from another substance are known as dehydrating agent if concentrated sulfuric acid reacts with ethanol then it produces ethene and water is absorbed from ethanol this is actually ethene in this case self concentrated sulfuric acid absorbs water from ethanol that is why concentrated sulfuric acid is a dehydrating agent again concentrated sulfuric acid absorbs water from sugar to produce carbon and the color of carbon is black that is why concentrated sulfuric acid is added when concentrated sulfuric acid is added with sugar it turns into black color my dear students that's all about this chapter